Yes, it's um Friday. I've actually um, completed my my previous post. But what actually happened was um, I was told the um, the video was a bit upside down. I'm sorry to um, to all my audience that were watching the video earlier on. Uh, I've just been told um, the video was a little bit upside down, so I've just decided to um, do a little bit of quick check to make sure the video is on the right um, angle and you're watching uh, from the right direction. Yes, I'm right here, Liverpool Street Station, very busy. You know, why is this economy so vibrant? Because a lot of energy is being put into this economy. That's why we can see that the economy of the um, United Kingdom is very strong. We could do the same thing. We could start up. Uh, I know we've had a little bit of layback in terms of, um, you know, difficulties in the last 53 years. You know that Nigeria has been, uh, you know, where it is at the moment. But yes, there's still opportunity that can be tapped into that uh, economy. As we all know, uh, there's so many. Uh, opportunity in different sector in terms of um, agriculture. Agriculture is what I've been discussing this morning and I'm back again on it. You know, agriculture, you know, is a wealth. It's not just a way of life, you know, so look at it as a business, you know, take it as a very important sector. Nigeria, we've got about 180 million people, you know, in Nigeria, so there shouldn't be any reason why we should be struggling in terms of feeding ourselves. So what I would uh, employ every one of us to do is to um, make sure that uh, you know we see how we can add value you know to the agricultural sector uh, i'm just going to give a quick uh, look at the you know the headline this morning with this um, with the paper uh, i'm just going to give you what the headline says this morning the uk election is coming up you know we're just uh, you know counting down now you know, are you ready for the election? Also, the election is coming up in Nigeria as well. You know, right in Lagos, Lagos State election, uh, local government election. It is very important that we elect the right people to make sure we get the right, um, you know, uh, answer to most of the problems that we are all encountering. You know, both uh, you know in the local government sector. If you don't employ the right, pe if you don't uh, elect the right people, then the problem is going to be, you know, ongoing. So let's make sure that we, we uh, during the primaries, because uh, from my understanding, the primaries is where everything is, uh, you know, it's been decided. I know it's a big politics, but at the end of the day, you know, a lot of uh, youth has to come out and make impact. As you can see, you know, um, the election is the most talked about in the, in the papers, you know, um, and it is very important that for those of us residing uh, in the United Kingdom, you know, we get ready, you know, put yourself to make sure your, your, your vote counts because uh, come June 7, you know, a new prime minister will be elected and it is entirely up to myself and you to make sure that, uh, you know, we are prepared for that. Again, my name is Olayomi Koiki and thank you very much for those that have been following me on my Facebook page, my Instagram and also my Twitter account and also my YouTube. Also, follow us on Ico Farmers on Twitter, on Facebook, and get up-to-date information on agriculture news, events, and whatever is happening, you know, innovation technology within the agriculture sector. Uh, also, Niger Agri is another um, social media portal that uh, gives information on news, on agriculture, you know, whatever you're looking for in terms of um, what is happening around the world in agriculture, follow us on our Twitter page, it is very important that uh, you keep an eye on what is happening. And again, I'll be coming back next week, Monday, because there's a lot of events coming up that I'll be bringing live to you. The UK election is coming up on the 8th of June. It is very important um, that we all participate in that election as it's coming up very soon. Also, uh, every opportunity, make sure you speak, you ask questions. There's so many things that we all can uh, add value to whatever we are doing and I mean I'm only doing my own little bit you do yours and the world becomes a better place the most important thing is agriculture is a very important business at the moment you know 180 million people need to be fed every day so look at what area you know you can work on
if you're not ready to look at it as a market or as a business, look at it as feeding your family, even setting up a little bit of farm at the back of your house. You could grow tomato, you know, one agbeloba, so like we all know. So why are we all running away from, you know, from that sector now? It is very important that every one of us work with the government so that we can start feeding ourselves. You know, we don't have to be importing rice from Thailand. You know, when we have vast amount of land all over Nigeria, there shouldn't be any reason for us, you know, bringing in rice from Thailand. Most of this rice, you know, are just rice that have been kept for years and years. You know, I mean, our father rice, you know, there's so many, you know, rice that uh, can be grown in Nigeria. So why do we have to be bringing all these um, imported food into the country? Again, thank you very much uh, for, uh, if you have any suggestion, if you have anything you want us to add to the content that we're already doing, please inbox me and I'll be ready to discuss it as well. You know, the most important thing is information is the key to success. You know, you can't sit down and just watch other people doing it. Every one of us have responsibility one way or the other to add value to ourselves, add value to our country, and add value to those around us as well. That is the most important thing. Again, my name is Olayomi Koiki. Monday coming, God's willing, I'll be bringing a very big event live here, you know, in terms of the election coming up in UK. Keep an eye on that and have a good morning. Thank you very much. Bye.